5 a.m. We head back down to the low country with the Sharks 1-0 on the season. Take it on Phillip Simmons, who they are as well after beating Andrews last week. And, man, what a game this was as we go down there and show you what transpired in this matchup. Iron Horses down the final minute of the half, but check this out. Quarterback Dramali finds Qua Green in the end zone. Touchdown, Phillip Simmons. They let 16-14 Sharks get the final say of the half. They come back. Hunter Schwalm trying to get rid of it. Not going to happen, though. Bryce Smalls with the tackle. Horses led by two heading into the locker room. We go second half. Becomes a battle of the defenses. Here, the lolly again connects with Ellington. Horses moving the ball nicely, but then St. James on fourth down. They elect to go for it, but Faulkner says not so much, my friend. Stop he gets him. the tackle there. This game goes into double overtime. And in the second extra frame, the Sharks score first, and they go on and win it. 37 to 30. How about St. James and Drew? They are 2-0 on the young season. Coach said it is time for this program to take the next step, and that step is the playoffs. Wins like this will help you in getting that done. And Phillip Simmons, usually a foe you see in the postseason for some schools. Them going down there in a wet evening in the low country to steal that win away in double OT. It's a big, big message for them. That's a big, big one for Coach Norwood. You know, I've talked to him a lot over the past several years since he took over this program. He built a solid foundation. He built on that last year. And of course, now with a win like this, this is one of those that you can really hang your hat on and get ready for the next game. Because the next one, <laughs> you know, if they, if they go to Doug Shaw and put on a performance like they did tonight against the Seahawks, and make that game close and even maybe pull out a win, that's going to be huge for this football team if they yeah. can win that next week. Big conversation down there in the south end in the county right now. Soccer see St. James both looking good on the south end. I'll tell you what, both 2-0 and on the season. Watch out in Class 5A. I mean, both those teams, if they continue to play the way they're playing, you know, it could be a run for that second spot because, you know, I'm, I'm going to go on a limb and say Sumter is pretty darn good. They always are. You know, yeah. and uh, they're, they're the team to beat clearly in that region, but it's wide open the rest of the way outside of, uh, of that team, so who knows. Now to a region where we still have also some conversations of where the postseason promise will go. We head out now to south side, south Florence. See how the brew 